Taking the temperature of the Battenkill, one of Vermont's most fabled trout streams, was one reason Jacob Fetterman of Trout Unlimited got his day off to a start by wading into the river and setting up a sensor that will provide information on how warm the river may be getting. Trout are sensitive to that, he said. For brook trout and brown trout, it's kind of different between the two, but brook trout are more temperature sensitive. Once water temperatures exceed about 68 Fahrenheit, the, they experience more physiological stress. And then for brown trout, it's about 70. And so out west, they'll actually shut rivers down once temperatures exceed that temperature. So it helps reduce stress that is kind of undue to the fish. They're already concerned about just making it through temperatures, getting caught and having to expend that extra energy is just not good for the fish as a whole. But there's much more information the sensor, now embedded in the river near its junction with Munson Brook, will convey, whether to the students at nearby Maple Street School or anybody, anywhere, who might want to know. The project, supported by and funded by Trout Unlimited, will collect data about temperature, conductivity, water pressure, depth, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, soil moisture, light, and precipitation. It will provide opportunities to build on their citizen science curriculum and engage students by allowing them a greater understanding of the environmental impacts on our waterways, said Suzanne Alfano, one of the teachers at Maple Street School who helped pull the project together. So, so the data that the, um, so Jacob's going to set it up, there's going to be a cable that's going to run into the river and um, the cable is going to collect the information and it's going to feed right from the station here on um, the bank of the Batten Kill and Munson Brook and feed it up to the satellite and then it will be become live data on a website that's available to scientists, environmentalists, conservationists, and educational um, people all internationally, right? Yep. It's an international program. So, um, and you know, for our sakes at school, it's a great citizen science opportunity because when kids feel like they are analyzing and collecting real data that's impacting um, the study of science on a broader scale, it makes it more real for them and relevant. The sensor will be the first of its kind not only in Vermont, but in all of the northeastern states. The sensor was installed last week as a group of eighth grade students watched. The station will feed data into the cloud and be accessible to scientists and environmentalists internationally, as well as educational citizen science programs, and will be called the Maple Street School Mayfly Station. The school will work with environmentalists to monitor the data collected by the station. And there's more. A red, that's with two Ds, is a nest that the female trout builds and lays her eggs in. Spawning season is coming up, and Jacob Fetterman is sponsoring the first annual Battenkill Watershed Spawning Survey. Trout enthusiasts, educators, and students throughout the region will be monitoring the Battenkill and its tributaries for these nests and signs of spawning. The Mayfly Project started nine years ago at Stroud Water Research Center in Avondale, Pennsylvania, in an effort to reduce the cost of sensor-based monitoring of streams and soils. Five years later, Following successful development and application of the Mayfly Data Logger for environmental monitoring in Avondale, the Stroud Center shared the device with the broader research community, which has adopted it for a wide variety of applications across the United States. In addition to lowering the cost of environmental monitoring with open source do-it-yourself tools, the project has expanded to facilitate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education, citizen science, and community-driven innovation environmental modeling, and data sharing, according to the Stroud Center's website. So what's a mayfly? An aquatic insect or a water insect who lives some portion of their life cycle in the water. They are also the model for many fly fishing lures because trout like to feed on the real versions of them. Maybe this version of the mayfly will also help keep the local trout in ample supply. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.